welcome back to my channel, or if this is your first time here, hi. My name is Misty. Thank you so much for stopping by. I do videos all about perfumes, makeup, a little bit of fashion. Sometimes I talk about like diet, exercise, and like fitness and health goals and all that kind of stuff. Uh, occasionally I talk a little bit about my health journey and stuff that I've been through, but mainly I try to keep it light and fun here and I talk about all the girly fun things and today I'm actually going to be doing my June favorites because I feel like I have enough new stuff to talk about. I feel like I'm always repeating the same things when I do my favorites. So I do feel like I have a few new things. Some are brand new, but just some are things that I haven't talked about in a while. So I figured it's a good time. There's enough stuff. Let's just do it and jump in and talk about some great stuff. So if that sounds like something you would like to check out, please do like this video for me and subscribe. Why not? It's free. So, all right, you guys, let's just jump right in to my favorites. All right, so the first thing, I'm gonna talk about a few newer things that I don't think I've talked about, and then I'll talk about a few things that I think I've talked about before, but I'm just kind of saying, yes, I still love them, they're good, or I'm using them again, and things in my collection I do rotate, like I'll use something for a while, and then I'll kind of get tired of it, and I'll kind of rotate, but a couple of new things. I finally broke down and tried these RMS Beauty Blushes. I've been using the same blushes for years. And pretty much the only blushes that I use besides the Rare Beauty, yes, I know, I do have the Rare Beauty Liquid. But when I'm talking about like a powder compact blush, I've had these little Tarte blushes for years. Years and years and years. I haven't bought a powder blush in a long time. Since way back when, when I bought my NARS blush. And I went through that entire palette. I had a huge blush palette with a highlighter. I went through that entire thing. I got like a free NARS blush with a purchase years ago. I've been, I've been using that. I do like it. It's one of those little guys. But as far as like buying a blush, a powder blush, I haven't. Until I've heard so many people talk about these RMS Beauty blushes. And I think they're typically around 20 or $30 a blush. But I got both of these blushes for the price of one because I went through QVC. Someone did a code or linked it on Instagram. I think it was Michelle Bell. And yes, I wanted to try them. She's always raving about them. So what I ended up getting was French Rose, French Rose, which is like the pink blush. And what a lot of people like about these blushes is the finish. That finish is beautiful. It's almost like a highlight blush in one. It's so pretty. There's a bunch of different colors, but again, that's French Rosé, and then I also ended up getting Mai Tai, which I think is her favorite, Michelle's favorite. She likes more of like the orange, warmer colors, and that. I feel like these two colors, it's perfect. I mean, I have a pink and I have a peach, and if I have that, I'm super happy. Like, I don't need any really dark or brown blushes or anything like that. If I have a good pink and I have a good peach, I'm set with the blush, I really am. So those two colors worked perfectly. I love them both. Today I'm wearing the peachier one, the Mai Tai, and I absolutely love it. You can even blend these together. You can mix them and they're absolutely stunning. They're just really smooth and I don't have a highlight on. And it is kind of like a blush and highlight in one. And they're so pretty. So I really do like them. Next thing I have been really loving, and I don't think I've talked about this before. This is the Vitamin Enriched Face Base from Bobbi Brown. I got the little travel ones because we were going out of town. And I just wanted to try it. And I fell in love. You guys, I'm absolutely in love with this. So this kind of smells like lemons. 
And I think it smells really good. I mean, some people have complained about the scent, but I think it smells really good. This is a really good face base kind of moisturizer, but you can wear it at night. I wear it during the day and at night. Basically, what I do is I wash my face in the morning, and this is the first thing, you know, obviously I put on. I might do a serum, a vitamin C serum, and then I put my moisturizer on, and I let it sink, and then I'll go in with my sunscreen. But then at night, I've been using this as my evening moisturizer, and it's fantastic. It is very emollient, but it's not greasy, and it sinks right into your skin. I absolutely love it, you guys. I think it is so good. I definitely will be getting the bigger jar. I wanted to try it, and I also wanted to have it for travel, and it was perfect. We uh, went on a cruise a couple of weeks ago, and then I went out of town on a different trip, and it fits perfectly in my little travel bag, and I, I absolutely love it. My skin stays hydrated. It's the best. So I definitely am going to repurchase it and get the bigger jar. But I am gonna keep these little jars for travel because they're fantastic. Another face thing that I've really been loving is, I've used this in the past and I, I think I've talked about it, but it's been a long time. I got the Olay Regenerous Retinol 24 with peptides. And this is the fragrance free one. This is so good, you guys. So. If you are interested in starting to dabble with like a retinol product, this is perfect. Listen, you do you never ever want to go from using nothing to like Retin-A. And I know Retin-A is like the huge thing. A lot of people use it. It does help with your fine lines and wrinkles. It renews your skin. It turns cell, you know, cell turnover and everything. But that is something you have to build up to. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've just never gotten into any like heavy retinol products in the past. I just haven't. I know I could use it. I could use Botox. I could use all the things, but I kind of teeter the line between like, I really want to be natural and age gracefully, but then I also do want to do like the latest and greatest and I, I want to age and look good. So I don't know. I, I just, I've never felt the need to get like on the actual Retin-A, but it is good to have a retinol product and to start slow. And these are the kind of perfect things to start with using it. This is actually really good. You got to be careful. It will dry your skin out a little bit. Always, always though, wear sunscreen. Wear sunscreen every day anyways, but definitely when you're using a retinol type of product, use a sunscreen. But this, you can definitely tell it's doing something. I do feel like my skin is brighter and tighter. I feel like it does help with hyperpigmentation. I do feel like it does help with that cell turnover. You just definitely need to keep exfoliated. You definitely need to use it sparingly. Um, and it does take a while to notice. So don't think you're gonna use it and it's an overnight thing. But I'm telling you, you definitely will see results. Um, this was a pretty big jar, you can't tell, but I've definitely used quite a bit and I really can see a difference. So I do love that. Another skincare thing that I'm really loving is the Invisible Physical Defense SPF 30 from Dermalogica. I was so excited to get this and try it. I love Dermalogica products. I think they all smell so good. Um, okay, I purchased a sunscreen from Image. I think I shared it a while back and I was so excited about it. It was tinted, it was physical sunscreen, but I'm pretty sure it broke me out. So I ended up passing it along to my mom. I need to ask her if she likes, likes it. I haven't checked with her about that, but I was desperately searching for another sunscreen that was physical, that didn't break me out, that wasn't too oily, and this is fantastic. It really, really is. I use this on the cruise. I use this anytime I'm going in the pool. And honestly, when I put this on after washing my face, it is the, like it, there is a glow and it makes my skin look so pretty. It just has a really pretty glowy finish on your skin that I personally love, but it does dry down. It's not greasy. And I'll, again, it doesn't break me out. So I really, really, really love this. Another thing that I went back to, and I, I really do love it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and I'm in the color medium. And I, I went back and forth between the medium or the medium neutral, or even thought about dabbling in the tan. 
as I'm getting a little bit more color and then maybe like keeping one, like keeping tan to mix in because the medium is maybe just a little light, not much. I can make it work, but I think the medium neutral is even darker, believe it or not. And I just ended up getting the medium one, but it's an SPF 50. It's physical sunscreen and I absolutely love it. So what I use this for is pretty much daily use. I don't use a, a full coverage foundation every day. So I love this. I still go in with my sunscreen, but then I put this on and it absolutely protects my face. It's a moisturizer. It hydrates. It doesn't get greasy. I love this. And I've always, always loved this more than the CC cream because I always use the CC cream back in the day. But this feels lighter, less cakey than the CC cream. Now, my mom absolutely loves the glowy CC cream. It's in the pink tube. She loves that. She has used that for years. And I have tried that one and I still... I still love this. I don't know, it is just more lightweight, but there's great coverage. The SBF is fantastic. This is definitely a favorite. And I, I, I went through, I threw it away, but like I was squeezing out the very last little bit. And so before I left on my trip, I finally got another one. And I'm so glad because I really love it. But it's funny though, I didn't wear anything on my vacation. So I went uh, out of town with some friends. We just went and we rented an Airbnb and just relaxed all week. I did not wear one stitch of makeup, not one stitch. I wore sunscreen and my sunglasses and that was it. And it was fantastic for the whole week. Not one time until we were leaving the trip and I got up and kind of got ready for the day. I put on a little makeup then, but like I didn't wear anything. And it was, it was heaven, it was wonderful. Um, another thing I've kind of gone back to that I really love is the Hollywood Flawless Filter, and I'm in the color 4.5 medium. I love this, and I do like the Halo Glow products, and I think they're great, and I think they're comparable to a degree, but I don't know what it is, guys. There's just something about the original Hollywood Flawless Filter that I love. I don't know. I don't know if it's the color because the shades are all off. I think maybe it's just the, the formula. I feel like it's a, not as thick and it's like a truly glowy product. I don't know, I just really love it. So I got a little one because they last forever and I like it for travel, but I do love the Flawless Filter. All right, a couple more makeup products. So I found this Maybelline New York Sky High Primer. It is a primer that is dark. And I absolutely love it. I put it underneath my mascara, kind of let it dry. Love it. I think my lashes look great. I am using the Grande Lash Serum, but I haven't worn false lashes in six, seven, eight months. I don't know, it's been a long time. And then the mascara that I just repurchased, and so it's a repurchase, it's really good, and I think it's like $5. This is the Essence Lash Princess. It's a, a traditional brush. It's just one of those good brushes. I'm gonna tell you, this brush seriously reminds me of the Chanel, uh, I think it's the Le Volume de Chanel. It's small and kind of thick and compact like that. It so reminds me of that mascara and that's one of the best, but it's so expensive. But this Essence Lash Princess is, like I said, it's like $5. Uh, I, I had the old tube forever and it finally started drying out. I got a new one. I love it. And this combination is great. Now, let me tell you something. I do like, now this is the waterproof one. And I do like having a waterproof mascara, but the actual mascara that's not waterproof in the sky high that matches the primer. I used to love the sky high but my tube dried out in two weeks and I thought it was just a fluke. So I didn't think anything about it and it dried out and I just, you know, went to a different mascara. My daughter loves the Sky High. I buy her the waterproof version. So just like this, this is my waterproof, but I always get her one. She comes to me and says, 
mom, I need a new mascara. And I said, I just bought your mascara like two weeks ago. She said, it's already dried out. And I told her about my experience with it. So that's a little bit of a bummer that mine was the original. It wasn't the waterproof, but it dried out. And then now she's telling me her waterproof was drying out. So it's kind of a bummer. I'm kind of not wanting to buy the actual sky high mascara, but again, the primer has been working great and it's been working great with the lash princess. And you can obviously wear the primer with any mascara. All right, just a few more things. Next, e.l.f. Skin. I love the whole e.l.f. Skin line. I have talked about it, but I want to mention this lips. This is the Holy Hydration Lip Mask. This is seriously the best lip mask. It works way better than Aquaphor, honestly. Like, I really feel like it does. It's so hydrating. The only thing is, it's a tiny, tiny little jar. And I just, I didn't buy it that long ago and I'm already needing another one. It's super cheap. So, I mean, that's good, but it really is the most hydrating lip mask. It's better than any of the high end, like Laneige or, I mean, I, it's just, just better than any of them. And again, it's from e.l.f. And this whole Holy Hydration line is fantastic. I absolutely love it. All right, my next favorite is a lip product that I have had for so long, and I have a few of them, but I'm only gonna talk about one color today and the one I'm wearing. But, and then I can't think of the exact name, so I'll put it on the screen, but these are the Chanel Long Wearing Lip Glosses where you have the color on one end and then you have the clear lip gloss on the other end. Now, I've tried a million of these. I've tried all the drugstore ones, and they always dried my lips out really bad. This is one that doesn't dry your lips out. And it's kind of hard to explain because it is a long wearing lip gloss, but it's not completely like kiss proof, if you will. You will still be able to see it if you drink and you'll, if you blot, you'll still be able to see it. But it does stay on your lips enough that the color will last pretty much all day and you can, you know, even though a little bit comes off when you drink or eat, for the most part, it stays on there. And it is so hydrating because you put the color on. I usually put like two, I usually swipe it like two times and then I go in and then there's like the gloss on the other side and that is what you touch up. And that gloss, feels so hydrating. My daughter actually steals these from me just to use the gloss part. And she doesn't wear lipstick, but she loves the gloss. Eventually one day I should try to get her just like the actual lip gloss. I think you can buy just like the clear gloss in these formulas, but they are so amazing. Like I put them on and if I'm going somewhere, like I went to a birthday party yesterday and we were gonna be eating and I didn't wanna worry about my lipstick and getting it everywhere. I put it on like way at the beginning of the day. All I did was occasionally put a little bit of gloss on when my lips started feeling like I could start really feeling a little bit of tackiness and it doesn't feel bad, it still feels really smooth. But when I would be like, oh, I need a little bit of lip gloss and it looked like I had just freshly applied the lip gloss by the end of the party. I mean, it was really incredible. So I love this. The color I have right now on, the color I have on now is Tender Beige. And it's just a really pretty basic nude, but it's not too dark. It's, it's kind of like a pinky brown nude. I do have a little bit of lip liner on that's probably making it look a little bit more brown. I think it's just kind of like a true nude color but not a concealer nude. And then I also have a color called Caramel. And that one is a little bit peachier of a nude, like a peachy nude, but oh my gosh, they're fantastic. And I forgot how much I love them because again, she took this one for me, but I said, you know, I'm gonna start wearing those more. They're fantastic. And again, you just put them on and you don't have to worry about it. And then you can just occasionally put a little bit of gloss on if, you're, if it feels dry, but it's fantastic. All right, and the last couple of things I'm gonna talk about is my fragrance. 
First one is my Victoria's Secret Bombshell. I've been bringing this out. This is such a good summer scent. Literally smells like summer. It's passion fruit and it smells juicy. There's a little bit of vanilla. It's absolutely perfect. And here is a fun fact about this fragrance and you can look it up. This fragrance is known to keep mosquitoes away. They don't know why, but scientists have discovered that mosquitoes absolutely hate the smell of bombshell and it repels them. Even better than like using off or some kind of mosquito repellent. So I think that's very, very convenient during the summer. And if you're going, say you're going to a baseball game at night or you're gonna go for a walk or you're going to a picnic or a pool party or whatever, and it's gonna be like after four or five, especially if you live somewhere where it rains because we all know when it rains the mosquitoes come out this is fantastic i'm wearing this today it is light and honestly it's not like the most long-lasting fragrance but i think it's one of those that other people can smell it longer and i think it's just i kind of go nose blind to it although i do still smell it after a while but it's so good and I just absolutely love it in the summer. And I'm still I'm still in love with the Club de Nuit, uh, the White Imperial. This is my favorite. I don't even know how to describe this other than if you take Delina and Delina Exclusive and you mix them together and create a, a fragrance with both of them, that's what this is. It literally smells like both of those. So if you love all the Delinas, this is fantastic and it's like a quarter of the price. I mean, this big old bottle is way, way, way less. You think you can get it for like 50 bucks and this is literally like a three point, I think it's a 3.8, no, excuse me, 3.6. So it's a huge bottle. I wanna say like the tiniest bottle of Delina is over $200. So, and it's probably like a 0.5 or 0.8 or something like that. They're so expensive. I don't own the actual Delina. I own the dupes, but I don't need it because this is absolutely fantastic. So when I'm in my Delina mood, which I have to like, I have to make myself wear other stuff because I, I do love that fragrance so much. But right now I'm kind of giving that a break. And again, I'm picking up my bombshell because it's so awesome for the summer. All right, you guys, I think that is it. I think that is it. I truly hope that you had a wonderful June and I hope that your July is wonderful. If you're in the States, happy 4th of July. Uh, Tuesday is the 4th. I'm, I'm not sure when I'm gonna post this, but I'm filming it on Sunday. So the 4th is coming up. So hope you have a safe and happy 4th of July. I love July because my birthday month and my older son, it's his birthday month. And it's just, oh, it's just so much fun. Like pool days, you know, endless pool days and sun. And it is hot, I will admit that. But I love having my children home from school. And I just love the ease of not getting up and doing much, staying with them and seeing family. And just, I've been traveling and really, spending time with friends and it's just been really, really fun. Just been really thankful for the time of rest and relaxation. So I hope that you are having that as well. All right, you guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.